Do you love your folding camp chair? They pack up nice and small, they're really light. But have you ever had one fail like this? You may find yourself in a similar situation if you have any big galoots like ours. Come here, tube teammate. And she will often come and hop up in your lap without invitation. And that's how the chair got broke to start with. Hop up here. Come on, yes. And the chair is clearly probably better than it was when it was new. And here's how I did it. Okay, that's enough. Cut. And this is the second one. I have already repaired one side. And you can see I coated it with epoxy. And I have denim sticking up under here. I made a couple denim patches and soaked them with epoxy like you would fiberglass. I wrapped it around the end of the pole. I'll wrap them around the end of the pole like a couple little round patches of denim soaked in epoxy. And then I'll take this part here and soak it all up inside with epoxy. And I'll pop this thing down over them patches. And with all the extra one, that'll stop it from going through for now until everything bonds. And, uh, you know, if I, I'll start with two. If I can get three pieces of denim in there, I'll do that. But, uh, let me get that stuff prepared, and we'll get back to it. I don't know how to do this without blocking the light. All right, I got my four patches laid out here. I got my epoxy. It's JB Weld Steel Reinforced Dark Gray four to six hour. It's what I got. I should have more because I'm like the epoxy kid. But, and I don't have shit to stir it with. A few moments later. Mmm, juicy. And I got a heat gun here to thin it all out. So it soaks into the fabric good. And that'll also make it set up quicker. That is a byproduct, but I don't think it'll set up quick enough to mess me up. play that tape all the way through there was no other possible way to do this I don't think I gotta mix up some more anyway for the pocket on the uh for the pocket on the sheet back And can you pull that back a little bit to suck out that shit that's leaking out? Okay, so I got my four patches. I'm gonna try to center them up on that hole as best I can. You know what, I should probably center them up on each other individually. First, and then I only gotta center one thing on there. All right. Okay, I'm gonna have to take one globe off. I'm gonna hold this stuff right there like that. Nope. All right, come on, baby. Everybody stay in the right place.
Okay, I think that's pretty much at the top. I'm going to make the rest of the connections just to put the tension right on everything. Now, all the packability is gone, but the chair is still usable. You know, teenagers want to whip it around here and there and just sit anywhere they want. It works out for them. All right. So, we'll get back to it. Here it is. Uh, maybe I'll, nah, I was gonna say I'll cut some of that extra shit off, but who knows, maybe it'll help. I mean, if I flare it out there and it gets a hard on like that, there's no way that I can slip back down over it. Maybe I can find some. Ooh. Yep, I mean, you can still take it to the campfire at the house. It just doesn't fold up. And when it's done, I'll take it apart and I'll show you that. How well it folds up, but I don't think these two will ever come back out. We're gonna set that aside for a little more than four to six hours. All right, it's not pretty. There's the claw stuffed up in there, soaked in epoxy. And it is taking the weight and holding up just like the previous one I did about two months ago. But the chair is no longer foldable. But it is usable. Cut.